Ciao, dear ones. Hey, thanks for stopping by the studio today and hanging out with me. Um, today is part two of our uh, collage series, and we're going to be working uh, with fabrics and paper on a couple of different uh, substrates. So we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. And if you are new to our channel, um, my name is Katharina Giglio, and I have been represented for about 13 years by a wonderful gallery called 142 BIS in Fort Collins, Colorado. And there are two ways to view my work if you would like to check it out. Um, the first one is to go on my site. We'll have that information up there. Just click the tab that says 142 BIS Gallery and you can view everything online. Or the other way, you can just call and make a FaceTime appointment and um, you can see everything up close and in personal. Meg will give you a wonderful tour. So there you have it. And I want to thank you right away for all your thumbs up for um, all of your likes and shares. We so appreciate it. And for all your comments, I love chatting it up with you. And um, as you know, I try to answer every, every single um, comment. And so, um, so let's start collaging. <laughs> okay, if you were with us um, last time uh, with the paper collage uh, on paper, um, I forgot to tell you that if you're using PVA, sometimes it's a little sticky. And so I finish it off with uh, just clear gesso and that keeps all the little bits from sticking to each other. So uh, there's that. I just wanted to, to jump in with that. Um, no one's asked me yet about it, but they will stick to each other if you don't, if you don't do that. So, okay, today um, we're gonna be working on with with paper and fabric and it was inspired by my little terrarium that has um, my little found um, butterflies and eggs and nest and, and uh, my little naturalist uh, terrarium is what it is. So that's what was the inspiration was. And um, so we're gonna be working with um, the very first, subst we're gonna be working with two substrates. The very first one is um, canvas. It's just unbleached canvas. It's just raw canvas. Um, and as always, if you need some, you know where you can get it. You can get it on our links in the Amazon link down below. Um, so everything that we're using today you can get except for maybe old book covers. So, okay, we're gonna start collaging. So this is what raw canvas looks like. You can get it in a roll. Um, and um, I love you know using it for lots of different projects. And you can stretch it on stretcher bars and make your own canvas. Um, and so, but today we're gonna do something different with it. Today um, we're gonna cut it down into smaller pieces. And I have gessoed it with white gesso because we're gonna cover it up. So that's where we're gonna get started right now. One of the things I love about raw canvas is you can get a really nice ruffled raggedy edge. I won't use the yummy word because we've already had a complaint about yummy. I'll just say that it's raggedy, raw, and rustic. How's, how's that? That's good, huh? Um, and it looks so wonderful. So uh, I just simply took the uh, white gesso and gave it a nice um, coat. You can see here this is much softer and then this is a lot rougher. You can even hear the sound of it. So it's going to um, take the uh, gel medium, which is what we're using today, regular gel mat medium. Um, it's going to take that really well with fabrics and laces and, um, and wonderful old bits and things. So. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I definitely want to use some of my uh, mono prints and these are on fabric and I'm not sure which one I want to use today but um, I just I, I love the way they look and um, I thought this would be great for a background and we could cut it down uh, something anyway and if you saw the video on it um, then you know um, how fun they are to make. They're just a blast. And so I've got a bunch of these and I thought we would start with one of them anyway and, um, and play with some of our pieces. So I've got lots of butterflies to look at. I was thinking that we would do something with butterflies today. So I thought I would take them out. I know how you like to look at all the bits. And I do too, I love it. So I've got some 
old pieces, some new pieces, some old pieces, <laughs> lots of different um, butterfly bits that we can use to collage with. Um, these are kind of fun, aren't they? I like those. This one's a really interesting piece. And uh, I like, like that one a lot. That looks really good on there, doesn't it? So I don't know what exactly we're going to do, but we're going to figure it out. And um, let's see. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking I definitely want to cut a piece of this and put it on here. But which one? So I'm going to have to check this out. And I don't know that I want to use this. It's kind of light, isn't it? Okay, I like this one because it's super dark. But that won't work because it's way too dark. This one would work. Hmm. Okay, we've also got lots of other bits too. I think, you know, so these are kind of busy. So maybe I won't use these. Maybe I'll stick with this dark one. Because everything's going to show up here, I think. Well, most everything is anyway. We'll see. Okay, I'll, we'll set these aside because I like this one too. I love this tiny little antique butterfly. Okay, I've decided that I like these two pieces the best. So we're going to see about different bits on there. And it takes a while to figure out what you want. I like the way that looks behind there. And then we've got all kinds of ephemera. Um, these are really cool bits that I just love. And, um, you know, they're just scraps. And, but they're just, you know, this has been, this has been wet and cut and it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. I did not use the word yummy. Okay, so I like all those. We're just going to set them aside though. And then I've got these. And um, I like these two. Let's see. Got lots of different uh, pieces here. Lots of papers. But I, I'm not ready for paper yet. I want to work on the fabric. So we're going to get started on the fabric right so now. So I went through my, some of my fabric stash and I pulled a few things together. Um, and then this is one of my... Um, hand stitched and uh, favorite bits bag. Um, this piece I stitched a while back so it makes a really great background. I've got some hand dyed um, pieces and some little laces and then um, lots of lots of gorgeous pieces. I love this folded. Isn't that beautiful? Just folded up like that the way it was crumpled. Just lovely. Um, and then I've got some, some stitched bits here because I love to do little stitches and things on fabrics. Uh, it just soothes me. They're like little stitch meditations and um, I, just, I just love them. So I'm going to set this one aside. I love that one. Um, and I love this piece here in these threads. Those are cool. We might use those later. Love this one and love this one. Oh, this one has like little holes in it. So beautiful. Okay, so we figured those things out. I don't know that we're going to use them for this one. Maybe we'll use them for the other one. We'll see. And then in here, I have, oh, I love this and this and this and this and this. Mm, okay, there's a lot to love this. Tea dyed. Okay. Mm. Okay, got to narrow down my choices. Oh, and I have these butterflies I totally forgot and a little bird. Okay, we'll set those aside. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just playing again like I did last week just with bits and pieces. Um, I do like that bit. I like this one too. And uh, just, you know, trying to see what, what I really like. And um, so 
so and I I like these pieces but I'm not sure about this one maybe they'd be good on this one this one is really pretty I love this and if you haven't seen that video check out our videos because um, we've got let's see I don't want to cover that up if we use that I like the dark on it nope this way okay so if I put that on there I'm gonna have to cut it all right so that's gonna cover it up so that's gone I love this this is just uh, you know sembra delizioso um, so let's see I like this too and let's see what else I just love this with the little stitching at the top the couching that looks good okay now I'm trying to see where I have to edge it okay so right there because I definitely want this raggedy edge to show right so I'm gonna rip that so let's do that okay we're gonna rip it Don't you love the sound? I just love the sound of cloth ripping. Let's see. No, nope, I don't want to go that far. I want to cut this one again. Okay. That's better. Okay, I'm going to rip all of these. <laughs> okay, I have, uh, I cut it down pretty much the size that I like it. I like this um, edge here and I'll probably work it a little bit more to make it a little bit more raggedy um, just because I love the loose threads and, um, and I like this at the top. I don't know why but kind of, I don't know, sets the stage maybe. I don't know. I might cut this a little bit more on this side. I think I will. I don't want to lose too much of my print because I just think that's just lovely here. And I like this piece and I love this piece. Okay, so, okay, so I've got my fabrics chosen. Now I have to go through the butterflies and see what I want to do. Okay, I love this, but it's just way too dark. This one looks kind of cool, like that. I love this piece. Um, I love these little bits too. They're pretty yummy. Uh-oh, I said the yummy word. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, I think I figured out that I really like these little ripped pieces, these little shreds. I think they're really pretty cool. Um, and, uh, hmm. oh, you know, this looks really cool, like it's part of the butterfly. I like that. There. This piece. No, nope, I want the threads to show. Hmm. Maybe this one here. No, I don't think I like that. But I might like this. And this. Okay. I like this. I like the way it's looking now. Okay, I think we're going to start gluing things down. Okay, so I'm just going to make a good connection with the gel matte medium. And I'm not going to go all the way because I want the rough, the raw edge on it. I want it just a little straighter. So we're going to go right to there. Oops, let go. Yeah, that's a little better. I like the crookedness at the bottom. I think that looks pretty cool. 
Okay, now carefully put my bits back in place. I love how this mirrors this. That's pretty cool. And I love this. And I love this pretend wing. That's fabulous. Okay, we're getting there. I think this has to come up a little bit though. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna glue these down. Okay, so I'm just finishing up gluing the last couple pieces. I don't wanna glue the whole thing down. I want the rough edge to be there. Um, I want I want to show that it kind of curls slightly, that it kind of has a look of its own, like a butterfly, right? It's kind of able to just fly off the page. And, um, and look, I'm just using bits, and it's just so fun. Okay, I want this to be right about there. And I don't want it to cover up the pattern here. Um, you, when you do this, make sure you're using a dry brush because the fabric is going to soak soak up the uh, gel matte medium. So you just want to just put a light coat on it. Okay, we're going to let this dry and we're going to move on to the next project, but I really like it. So the second piece, I thought we would work with book covers. And um, I have lots of book covers. Isn't this gorgeous? I just think this is so beautiful the way it's just ripping off and I've used it for other pieces. And all the little notes on the inside, uh, it's just break your heart gorgeous. And I love these little tiny ones here. And these red ones. Love this edging, that's beautiful. So I just kind of went through my stash and pulled out a few that I liked. And I've got a ton of these which I absolutely adore. Um, and thought I would pick one today to use. And I think I like this one, number 26, Miles Standish. Yeah, this would be a good thing to use, huh? Okay, this one, I, the one with all the writing, I just love, looks like the dog ate it, right? Isn't that cool? Okay, so we picked out our cover, and now we have to go through and look at some pieces. Um, I've got some wonderful old bits here. It's a high school um, card, report card. This is an old blank check. All kinds of wonderful, uh, this one I love with the fold. That's lovely. And um, all these crumpled pieces of paper that are just lovely. This is someone's sketch from high school, maiden hair fern, and lovely bits, cards. I love all these pieces. Um, and then I've got these too. Love this tiny little shred. Love this. And this. Love this. This piece. And writing. Writing would be good on here, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be nice. Hmm, I like the 22. Okay, so... Hmm, something like that maybe because this will look too much of the same so we're not going to use that or this and then this typewriter page is really cool yeah but I like the handwriting better okay so we're going to use that and I don't think we're going to use these and then I've got some fabric shreds too I love this piece with the little little wrinkle there. That's just lovely. Okay, so we're going to play with this and try to figure out what we're doing. I'm pretty sure I'd like this. Maybe not this one. Maybe the other one. And we can rip it down. Hmm, I think we're going to use this one. I really, I might not even see that, but I really like that, the way that looks. So we're just going to rip that. And remember, don't, don't worry about perfectionism, getting everything perfect. Um, you know, it's, you're creating art, so. All right, we're gonna glue that down. Okay, and I'm not priming this first. Um, I'm just going to um, use gel matte medium to hold it down. I 
And this, the writing on here is just so gorgeous. Penmanship was so excellent back in the day. Okay, so I've got that down. Now I have to figure out what else I'm gonna do. Because I know, now I've got paper on paper. Usually I start out on a book page or a book cover um, with uh, fabric first. Um, and if you wanted to clear gesso this, if, if I were going to um, put this in a gallery, I would definitely gesso it. Okay, I like this piece here. That's kind of cool. And hmm, <laughs> I like that. That looks nice together. And I love this piece. Ooh, it's tied up there. No, but I've got to get some paper in here too because if you have all fabric or all paper, you know, it's just not as interesting as if you're actually. You know, mixing things up because you're looking for the texture. That's the whole point of this. And that's kind of cool like that, isn't it? I just love that edge. That's really interesting. That's too much. Okay, I'm just going to play with this a little bit. Okay, so I think I have this pretty well figured out. Um, but I'm not sure, I love this little butterfly, but I'm not sure that that's the one. And everything else seems really kind of large. Um, I could even go with something even bigger, I suppose. That one piece. Let's see, that would just take up too much space. I don't want to do that. I want to tell a different story. And I'm not really sure what that is because I don't know yet. <laughs> but I do know I want to get the fabric down, so. I'm going to glue this down. And what I want to do is kind of scrunch it a little so, yeah, so that it's not perfectly straight because I want to, I want to have a nice ruffled curl there. Okay, so I've got that. And then I think I like this together, these pieces. I love this piece, this little dangly thing. Okay, and maybe this here, and uh, that, like that, okay, and then like this, okay. So in my work, I'm always wanting to walk this line between realism and abstraction. And to me, realism is the real thing and abstraction is my heart and my feeling. So when you look at an abstract painting or picture, the artist is conveying some feeling inside that isn't always expressible um, and in any other way because reality just doesn't do it, right? Reality just doesn't ca always capture the feeling. I mean, sometimes it does, but not always. Okay, I think I love this. Yeah, I L-O-V-E love this. Okay, we're gonna glue this down and we'll be right back. Got it all glued down. And uh, I love the way the edges uh, lift up. And, um, and the way this comes up here. So we, we just pulled it up a little bit with a little bit of glue and that'll dry. And then um, the way that the, the fabrics lay on here, I think it's, it's just gorgeous. And I, I love this, the rough edges. I just love rough edges. Um, okay, so now last week we talked about every piece telling a story. Um, and um, so what I want you to do is let me know what story that you think my pieces are telling. Well, we're almost at town for now, and um, I hope you enjoyed this. We worked with fabrics today and collage, and next time we get together, we're going to be working with assemblage and collage, so that's gonna be way fun. So we're just gonna get thicker and fatter and, dare I say, yummier um, with our pieces. So, ciao, ciao.